What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS. I want to thank you for watching this video. And what we're going to be talking about today is dragons. Dragons at Town Hall 9. Probably a troop you haven't cooked since you were Town Hall 8. But with the new meta bases that we are seeing, we're seeing this attack strategy a lot more often. And it's the Queen Walk slash Queen Charge Mass Dragon Attack. So as always, I'll be showing you guys three different um, examples of this attack with slight variations in each one. We'll go ahead and break down the troop and spell comps in each attack. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So without further ado, we will go ahead and jump right into the attacks. Okay, so here's going to be our very first example. One thing you want to look for when you guys are using this attack strategy, and again, we're seeing this more in the new meta base layouts where all the ADs are set on one side of the base, what we call offset air defenses, and really it's to defend something like a Lalo or make a Lalo that much more difficult because at the end of the day, Lalo is still very overpowering, so people are using offset ADs in order to counter this attack. But... What it does do is open up an attack strategy like this, being the Queen Walk, Queen Charge, uh, Mass Dragon attack. So you'll see he started off at 9 o'clock, just dropping his king down, just basically funnel that side, get rid of all this trash. And he's basically going to be charging uh, these four air defenses down here on the bottom side of the base. Already got one of them. And notice he's also doing a uh, quad quake to open up. Uh, not only the rest of the air defenses, which he already has three of the four air defenses down, guys, and also the Expo, Enemy Queens, are just going to get tons of value, and he's bringing some minions and a baby drag along. Remember, you always want to keep your ba uh, your dragons inside the base. You don't want a big pack just destroying trash while defenses are firing at him. So using things like minions, baby drags to eliminate that trash, um, on the outer ring of the base to ensure that, that the dragons stay inside, just make it that much more overpowering. And just basically dropping a rage, um, you know, when the queen health is, is getting low, as always, nothing fancy there. So that's all he brought. He brought the, the quad quake. He's bringing three rages, uh, no poisons. And this was a fresh hit. Uh, this was not a cleanup attack. And you guys will see, he does still have a couple loons in his camp as well. And the spells and troops do change a little bit, uh, just based on you know whether you have to use a baby drag to get rid of that trash, whether you have to use minions to get rid of that trash. Uh, so certain things like that change. You're always going to be bringing a uh, few rages on this attack. Even a Tesla farm on the back end drops a couple loons. Probably could have swagged them. And this wasn't like a close call. I mean, he still has a bunch of dragons up, still has his Archer Queen ability in the bag, and ended up completely wrecking this offset AD uh, base. So really good job to King Foot. He has been doing this attack for quite a while now. Uh, just had a war recap where he also did a Queen, uh, queen Walk Mass Drag Attack. So it has been proven to be very effective. So we'll go ahead and check out the next example of this attack. All right, here's our next uh, base that we're going to be looking at. This is actually me doing this attack. Yes, I actually three-starred a base. I surprised myself as well. So you'll see, again, all four air defenses on one side of the base, kind of breaking this uh, base up in quadrants. Going to be using the queen charge at you know, about the 3 o'clock area, 3, 4 o'clock uh, section of the base. And in this one... And King Foot's attack, he did have a uh, a dragon he brought, a max dragon and two loons in the CC. This one, I'm going to be doing a King Bowler kill squad uh, to get rid of these other two air defenses. So you can see my queen has already gotten two of them, uh, dropped a rage, she was getting a little low on health. And this was also a fresh hit. These are not cleanup attacks. Uh, before, when we saw the dragon attacks, a lot of them were uh, cleanup. You know, you'd want to know where the Teslas are, you want to know it's in the CC and you know things like that but these are fresh hits guys and if you forgot you know if you didn't know dragons did get a lot of love in the last couple updates they got a damage um increase at level four and up and also a speed increase so here comes the king uh bowler kill squad right here and you'll see um that they are gonna be able to get these air defenses taken out uh king bowler kill squads do work especially when these uh, air defenses are so close to the edges here so all air defenses are down as you can see those two quadrants are already taken care of down at six and over or at three o'clock 
and the dragons came in at nine taking care of that section of the base and go ahead and drop a rage on that little whizla uh whizla uh wizard tesla farm and that expo uh doing a little bit of damage dropped a heal spell right there uh, Tesla pops over at about one o'clock. Just go ahead and drop a couple loons on it. And just like that, I mean, pretty much all air targeting defenses are down at this time. Uh, the only thing left is that archer tower. Loons are going to sneak up right behind it as it was distracted by the dragon. And just the blower was left. That is about it. Nothing but trash left. So ended up completely smashing this base. Um, again, a slight variation using the King Bowler Kill Squad. You just have to be able to determine on these attacks, um, you know, what you want your Queen Charge to accomplish. And if you can use something like a King Bowler Kill Squad to get rid of other air targeting defenses and, of course, you know, air defenses themselves. Uh, definitely something to look for and to check out. But again, that base did get completely wrecked, had tons of troops, uh, tons of dragons left. And that was pretty much it. So we'll go ahead and check out one more example, our third and final example using this attack. All right, so this is gonna be our third and final example. We got Blake coming in here. Uh, same thing, I'm gonna be doing a, a queen charge. And again, just like on the other bases, you see those four offset air defenses. Um, just, you know, just like in the other attack. So he's starting over here at three o'clock, uh, does have a wizard trying to take out that town hall right there. It is going to go down to the mortar, but you can see the funnel is already set. His queen is not going to be walking around this base all crazy. So right there, he's going to go ahead and drop down a few wall breakers, goes ahead and drops a rage as the queen was going to be approaching the enemy king gets that wall pop. So that one AD was right at three o'clock over the wall, breaks into the BK compartment right here. And you can clearly see that she can get these other two ADs down without a problem. Goes ahead and funnels the top uh, with that wizard right there and already has two air defenses down. And what he's basically going to be doing is pretty much eliminating half of this base. About half this base is going to be gone, which is just going to open up. Um, the pathing for the dragons to move from one side of the base to the other. Uh, CC comes out, did have a poison waiting for it, as it was just that enemy drag. So she was able to mow through that very quickly. And typically on an attack like this, you don't even have to worry about it. You can see the queen in this base is, is pretty deep. Um, you know, it's pretty much right in the center. But something like a dragon attack, you don't have to worry so much um, about getting the enemy queen your dragons can get that enemy queen without a problem and just like in my attack you'll see blake is also using a king bowler kill squad down here at six o'clock and you can just clearly see the pathing and the funneling for the drags they are not gonna be wandering outside of this base all sorts of crazy goes in drops a heel uh, right on that Tesla farm right there. And bowlers are still doing work. You can see his queen up there uh, up at 12 o'clock still doing work. Uh, she's going to be rounding the bend here. Going to be taking out that archer tower. And you can see all the drags right in the core of this base. Um, even under that Tesla and that expo damage, they are just so powerful and just going to mow right through. I mean, even the air skellies, they do absolutely nothing. And you can see the last uh, air targeting defense left is that wizard tower right there. Uh, drop some minions just to get rid of this trash over at nine. And again, look at how many troops he's left with. Queen still survived. All the dragons still up. Notice that the, the, the queen walks and queen charges and all three of these attacks uh, stayed up for the remainder of the raid. So just completely smashed it. And I really hope that it helps. I hope you guys in, enjoyed the video. Uh, I gave you guys three examples using the Queen Walk slash Queen Charge Mass Dragon Attack, completely wrecking some of these offset air defense uh, bases, these new meta bases that we're seeing at Town Hall 9. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, uh, what you guys think of this attack strategy that we're seeing come back. Again, we have not seen dragons at Town Hall 9 in a very long time. And one thing to note that I did want to note uh, that I forgot to mention earlier is it's not like when I record when I recorded this, it wasn't like I was saving footage for a month. Um, if you guys look back, all three of these attacks were from the same war. These were all from the war we had against We Are Spartans. So just a little food for thought, just something to think about. At any rate, 
I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helps you guys out on some of these new Meta Town Hall 9 um, bases that we're coming across. And as always, you know, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you guys in the very next video. Thank you.